O governo do Premier Doug Ford anunciou mais de 10 bilhões de dólares em gastos, descontos em taxas e cortes de impostos desde o início de março. Entre outras promessas, estão 1 bilhão de dólares para a futura reforma do St. Joseph's Health Center, em Toronto. Segue-se ainda uma série de outros eventos em hospitais para anunciar dinheiro para o planejamento de construção ou remodelação. Esses assuntos estiveram presentes na abertura do escritório de Rudy Cuzeto. Well, what's important in this area? We brought the largest hospital in Canadian history at Queensway and here Ontario. Be honest, that hospital will be 24 stories high, 23 surgical rooms, and the largest emergency center in North America. This is great news for our community. Not only that, I was born at the original hospital in 1965, so for me this is a complete full circle. As well, we brought in 1,152 long-term care beds just in this riding here, and 30,000 across the province, and plus 28,000 rebuilt beds. These are staggering numbers that we are doing in the last four years that we've been in power. Not only that, we've increased uh, uh, care for our seniors to four hours of care, as well as increased the pay for PSWs by three dollars an hour. Amigos, familiares e apoiadores do partido estiveram lá no sábado, dia 23. Ele disse que caso seja reeleito para a vaga de deputado provincial pelo Partido Conservador, vai continuar lutando para trazer mais investimentos para a área da saúde. So we're investing in healthcare. Not only in healthcare, we're investing in building EVs, electric cars here in the province of Ontario. We're going to be the number one jurisdiction in North America to build electric cars. And we're building the battery in Windsor. That will create 2,500 jobs in Windsor. And these are well-paying jobs that we need for this province of Ontario. A zona de Mississauga Lakeshore faz parte do município regional de Peel compreendida em parte pela cidade de Mississauga. A área compreende locais como o sudoeste da Queensway East e Queensway West até a Mavis Road. Inclui os bairros como Catra, Sheridan Heights, Park Royal, Clarkson e Port Credit. Mississauga Lakeshore tem uma população de cerca de 117 mil habitantes e uma área de 61 km quadrados. Os voluntários já estão nas ruas em busca de apoio. Supporting me during this campaign. As I don't know if a lot of you know, this was my campaign office four years ago and it brought me victory. So I decided to come back to the same campaign office. We're trying to knock every door in Mississauga Lakeshore. Uh, part of the purpose of hosting this beautiful open house today is to get people who traditionally haven't been involved before or are long-standing uh, members to come out, get to know Rudy if they haven't already, and uh, volunteer. I know that uh, there's a lot of different issues. We've done some great work over the last four years. We want to spread the good news about what we're doing, uh, but also listen and see what comes next and where we need to tighten up. A ex-presidente da Câmara Municipal de Mississauga, Hazel McKellion, esteve no evento. And this gentleman represents you well. He's out with his people. And when you're out with your people, as I did as mayor, you find out what's going on. He's a people's member of the government. He's out with his people. And when you're out with your people, like I was as mayor of Mississauga, you know what's going on, you know their concerns, and you try to address them. You may not be able to address them all, but at least you're aware of their concerns. And they feel better to know that you make the effort to be out there to listen to them and to hear what, what their concerns are. So, in my opinion, Rudy does that and does it extremely well. O escritório de campanha de Rudy Cuzeto fica localizado no 281 da Lakeshore Road East, em Port Credit. Well, you know what? I, I care about this community. I've, my family's been in Port Credit for 72 years. Four generations of my family have lived here in Port Credit. And I, I give back 120% to the community because I care. I live here and my family lives here and I'm raising my family here. And it's all about the heart that I have for this community.